called nano control was not even spotted. So for this, we need to go into the device manager. So I share the device manager and I go into sounds. You find that the Cog Nano Control is actually there, which you think should be a good thing, right? But turns out that it's not supposed to be. So I'm going to update the driver. I'm going to browse my computer. And it's going to say, let me pick. And now instead of the Cog Nano Control, which you think would be the right one, I need to choose the USB audio device, generic Windows driver. Because the Cog Nano Control driver puts a limit on the number of devices I can have attached to MIDI, and I've exceeded that limit. So instead of using the core one, I need to use the Windows generic one. So when I do that and I close, now you see that instead of saying core nano or control, it says nano control. And that little change is enough for Ableton Live to now recognize my core nano control.